but sir would you also say, think or or hazard a guess that this could make the other khalistani leaders there khalistani terrorists wanted by india being harbored by pakistan would this make them think as well about their safety because anybody can be bumped off once their requirement is over for the deep state in pakistan absolutely that that they are known for that hmm. the deep state use you and when they find that you are of no use you can be knocked off in fact uh, you know hafiz shahid masood azhar all these people are also at time feeling it that when they are not being required they can be knocked off by isi hmm. why they are not being knocked off because they have got a lot of uh, public support with them because they have a robin hood posture and they are uh, basically fly internet foundation and uh, uh, you know other uh, organization they are running so all these terrorists which are there and especially the khalistan terrorists they know it their utility may not be that much now for isi just to show uh, you know they may knock up so they will be worried hmm. but who have knocked up it is very difficult to say as, as on today whether it is any connection with bilawal bhutto going back and uh, from the uh, who is a dreaded uh, khalistan terrorist uh, has been knocked up so all this thing uh, is, is a question of uh, permutation combination but certainly as on today there are 80 to 100 uh, you know the uh, khalistani terrorists all round in pakistan which are under the shadow and the shelter of pakistani isi they are also in various uh, gurdwaras uh, including nankana sai hmm. so they will think twice now ki uh, that uh, in, they are not safe in pakistan they can be docked off and that is a good sign in fact um, india has been sending this uh, dozier so many times but pakistan is denying now once they have locked off or who are locked off that is a mystery but certainly those who are in pakistan all these khalsa uh, khalistan terrorists they will think twice because paramjit was a uh, very close to pakistan deep state and isi right major lusvaish thank you so much for joining us with your perspective uh, you know what defense experts are agreeing is that uh, it is uh, something to do with deep state of pakistan this man paramjit singh panjwar was uh, killed along with his two bodyguards uh, in lahore today and he has been a wanted man he is the leader of uh, uh, he was the leader of the khalistan commando force as per indian intelligence agencies he is needed here in india or he was needed in india in multiple cases he is accused of killing one of uh, the army chiefs of india former army chief general as vedya he is also accused of uh, conspiring for the biggest bank robbery that india has ever seen the one that happened in ludhiana all the narcotics smuggling that is happening reviving sikh insurgency murder conspiracy all of it is uh, you know at the doorsteps of paramjit singh as is being you know alleged by the indian agencies but the question still is uh who really uh, killed him who's responsible for this uh, for this death um, group captain mj augustin vinod is also here with us uh, so your first reaction to this news coming in about uh, the former uh, you know kc uh, kf uh, uh, khalistan commando force uh, chief getting gunned down in uh, lahore two of his bodyguards also by being shot dead no my reaction is good written so i'll tell you we we've, we've been uh, i mean i'm from the era when we've seen this uh, you know uh, burning uh, in punjab <clears throat> and also have um been in the era when uh, operation blue star was going on so we have seen what uh, punjab went through at that time and uh, how revival of punjab or how we brought up punjab from where it was to where it is today uh, post um, blue star so Uh, you know, ma'am, I remember this guy crossed over sometimes. I think in the early 90s to Pakistan, and since then he has been a stooge of Pakistan. But what is important for us to understand is, I'm I'm just connecting two dots here. Hmm. Yesterday, Bilawal, um, you know, he, he talked about um, terrorism being a problem of both our countries, and we need to tackle it together. And at that time, I had some inkling that, you know, to to prove his point, he will say, look. we have eliminated terrorists from our side as well like you eliminated by but, but he could not um, risk eliminating a terrorist of his religion so he eliminated the so called terrorist of another religion so hmm. uh, you know ek pant do ka jaisa bolte hai na so uh, one one stone and uh, two birds so hmm. he eliminated a terrorist also so internationally he had a little bit of uh, advantage hmm. and uh, the uh, local population wrath also he didn't take because 
he was not a as a islamic terrorist so mm. he is done he is done both is my suspicion but <clears throat> the yesterday's attack on uh, our special forces is asim munir mm. uh showing who's the boss to the world it is not the polity it is the forge so there is a lot of power play lot of politics and a uh, lot of uh, you know kichatani is that is happening in within the uh, within pakistan which is on the verge of uh, completely uh, imploding and exploding because of their uh, such activities but, but, but i i just take right, if, go ahead now. please go ahead please go ahead yeah so i'll just take a leap from what uh, i think uh, general said hmm. it, it is high time uh, the khalistanis realize that they are nothing but uh, you know stooges or nothing but uh, expendables in the hands of isi whenever uh, isi wants to expend somebody or uh, you know jaise kaam khatam ho gaya utha ke feko that is khalistanis they have to realize that wo kisi ke nahi hai so that that i think is a bigger message that has gone on to uh, what has happened and uh, like i said uh, the opening sentence good riddance for uh, us and good riddance so the thought process that uh, pakistan will support uh, any anything to do with khalistan so it is a is a message to khalistanis as well that bhai uh, pakistan tumhara dost nahi hai jab tumhe chahiye wo utha ke fek dega right so it is it is both ways it, cut, it, it has cut both ways it is good news at both sides all right to captain mm-hmm. virod i appreciate you joining us and sharing your views so all the defense experts there agreeing that this will definitely send a message down the ranks of all those khalistan supporters who are being being harbored by pakistan now talking of pakistan that country is once again in the dock as far as terrorism and the terror uh, terrorist infiltration in jammu and kashmir is concerned and there is a major operation a 